Don't be fooled by Konami. Metal Gear Solid 3 Delta has finally been unveiled by Konami, giving us a first look at the remake and I have to admit, it looks incredible. Seeing this limited footage yesterday made my snake growl in all the wrong ways. Konami is aiming to create a remake that is faithful to the original, with the same game design, story, and voice actors. All this while remaking the world in Unreal Engine 5. This is my first concern though. Why isn't the remake made in the Fox Engine? Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain was made using the Fox Engine years ago and still looks great. It's like when Konami got rid of Kojima, they wiped out everyone, including every capable engineer and developer. They must be saving the Fox engine for Metal Gear Survive 2. Continuing the video, we see Naked Snake stare down a crocodile and then make his way through some water which again looked gorgeous. If you look closely, you can see the surface water lilies and flowers get displaced as you move which is a nice touch. Snake crouch walks as well which is going to be an amazing added feature. We also get a first look at Snake's in-game character model. I'm so glad they kept the mullet for real chads have mullets. Next we see Snake sneaking up from behind to murder a guard. Don't worry, nothing sexual happened, they are saving that for the game awards. Before Snake can interrogate the helpless guard, Vulgan style, they cut to an animal montage. We see a snake, no, the other snake, there you go. We see a crab chilling by some water, a frog, a rat, and a buzzard in the mountains. Again, everything in the trailer looks amazing. Character models, the lighting, the textures, from the brick of the building, to the details in the trenches, Metal Gear Solid 3 Delta seems to have been developed with care. But I don't believe it. You expect me to trust Konami? Konami is the only company that murders its own successful franchises and you want me to trust them? This isn't me being a Kojima fanboy either. Just look what they did with the recent Metal Gear Solid collection. Is it a bad collection? No, it has Metal Gear on it. But is it a good collection? No. Konami did the bare minimum and charged you for it. It's better to buy the PS3 editions or just emulate. Metal Gear Solid 3 Delta seems too good to be true. The graphics, the promises of not tampering with the story or characters or core gameplay. Again, too good to be true. I'm waiting for the paywalls, the camo loot boxes, the game to be split into seven chapters that cost $15.99 per chapter. For them to charge full retail price for a multiplayer mode filled with microtransactions and pay to win. This skepticism doesn't come from a place of hate. Rather, it comes from a place of love. Metal Gear is one of my favorite franchises and the very reason I love gaming to this day. Very few franchises can hold up after 20 years but the original series is still amazing to this day. I'm not a rage gamer, sitting on the cusp, waiting on social media with bated breath for something to be outraged about. But I am tired of Konami ruining and bleeding the Metal Gear franchise dry. If Konami can somehow pull this off, I think it'll be a step in the right direction. They will earn some respect from the gaming community, but until Konami proves me otherwise, I'm going to assume the game will be busted and manage my expectations. Before I end the video, I have one question. Do you trust Konami? If so, let me know why. Make sure to leave your opinions down in the comments below. Like this video and have a good one.